Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a software name as a Smart ICRSS. It's also called IC View software. So, in this video, we are going to discuss what is IC View software CMS means what is Smart ICRSS CRSS and what are its system requirement and what are the characteristics of the software so and after that so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one and after that we comes to our main part means we tell you that how you download this software and how you install them and how you configure them so that your camera may make a make live so let us start the video so what is icv software cms or what is smart icr icr ss smart icr ss is designed and developed by the ic real time company using this cms user can connect as well as control the cctv camera on the pc so basically this software is for monitoring and managing the system with your computer this computer this software is also used to make multiple viewpoints of the security cameras it means if you have a n number of nvr and you want to connect to a single place then you should do by using this software now as far as system recording is concerned then for windows you have minimum windows 7 8 or 10 or 11 it depend on your pc but the mac os is also a 64 bit ram the minimum ram requirement is 1 gb and above and you have you require 160 gb of hard disk and the characteristics of this software is that you are able to live you, you are able to have access live video streaming you have alarm notifications remote playback the multi windows view is available snapshot from the live recording streaming full ptz controls means you are able to pan it and zoom and the remote playback means you can check the record from from your pc to your remote and vr so now let's move our practical parts means how you download how you install and how you configure them so you should you should just open a google uh, your browser in my case i using google chrome so i open my browser and search for ic view for pc and press enter here you find the top of the list a website please open this website once you open this website just scroll down you found a download button in my case i am i my pc 64 bit so i click on this windows 64 when i click on this it will redirect me to our download page just click on the download and click on download anyway now the download is finished just click on this and click on show in folder when you click when you click on show in folder it will redirect you to your to your download page here you is your downloaded file so just right click on the downloaded file and click extract once you click extract you get the folder with the same file name open the folder and in in and after that you find a application file or exe file or a solder file just right click on the solder file and click as run as administrator and click yes and now tick i have read agreement and click next 
and now click next if you want to generate shortcut on desktop then click otherwise and click now click installed and wait for a few minutes once it is successfully installed you get this successful notification of installation Now click finish and click run smart clicks and click finish so, so that it will automatically open your software. Here you find that software shop software is automatically open. Just here it asks for password. Password is alpha new. Did you click? So here I enter my password. And click this auto login after a session. So it, it if you take this then you you don't you, you you have not entered each and every time a password so just click this it asks for some security questions so you can choose according to your choice but in, i just filled anything now this is the interface of the software so first thing you should find is you should find this option devices just click on the devices and here you find the two options auto search it means that your pc and your nvr or dvr or ip cam or any ip device whatever you adding should connect the same network then you should click on auto search if you want to connect any any in remote location nvr or IP cam devices, IP devices, then you should click this, this add icon. So in my case, I use remote location connect connection. So I want to connect remotely, so just click on this add button. After that, you can put any device name here according to your choice. And here you find IP domain and SN and ICD DNS. So if you want to connect to locally, then you should IP domain and enter your local IP. And if you want to connect I static IP, then then you should opt, select this option IP and backslash domain. If you want P2P connection for your remote NVR or IP devices, then you should select SN. So I select SN. Here I should enter my serial number. Here is my serial number and here it is for username. It is the username of the device means NVR, DVR, IPCAM, whatever I am adding. And again the same rule for the password means the password of the device, IP device. In my case I use one to connect DVR, NVR so I, use, I put password of my NVR. And now click add. When you click and add, it totally depends on the internet connection at the remote location and, and, and at your on your PC. It takes time and after that you are able to access. So in my case right now it takes time, it may be that the connection is not proper.
now let us click on the live view just double click here and the camera is live thank you have a nice day and keep watching